Hello, my name is Steve Phillips, and today I'd like to go over the states of matter with you. But first, I need to take a drink of this delicious ice-cold glass of water. Ah, that was delicious. Now, would you believe that the ice cubes in this here glass are water in a different state? Let me explain. You see, everything in this world is made of matter. Walls are made of matter, milk is made of matter, and even the air is made of matter. Now matter comes in three different states, liquids, solids, or gas. Uh, things like juice, water, milk, those are all liquids. Walls, bricks, and clothes, well, those are all solids. Air and steam, those are gases. Now liquids have no shape. If you pour a glass of water, it will take the shape of the glass. But if the water spills, it will spread out. Some liquids are thick, like an ice cold milkshake, and some are thin, like water or apple juice. Now liquids can be very different from each other, but they can all be poured. Now solids can be hard or soft. All solids will keep their shape unless you can do something to change them. The shape of solids, you know, like clay, are easily changed. However, solids like wood are much harder and not easy to change the shape of. Now gases have no shape. Air is a gas, and like air, most gases are invisible. You can't see most gases, but you can feel them like if you spin around fast. You can feel air move against you. When you feel the wind against your face, you're feeling a gas. Air, it's all around you. Now gases spread out to fill any container they are in, even really big spaces. Now matter can change. When matter changes its form, it's usually called changing its state, such as changing the state of matter. Changes in temperature are usually what causes matter to change its state. Now, water is an interesting type of matter. It changes easily from a liquid to a gas and from a liquid to a solid. To turn water into a solid, all you need to do is freeze it. If an ice cube is left out of the freezer, it will melt, turning back into a liquid. If you have ever watched water boiling and saw steam rising up from the pot, you were watching water turn into a gas. You can see water vapor turn back into a liquid when you fill a dry glass with water and ice and let the glass sit. After a while, you'll see droplets of water gathering on the outside of the glass. Now as you can see, no matter what state the water molecules are in, it's still the same substance. It's still water. I mean, you can find vapor in the form of steam over a boiling pot of water. Uh, that vapor can condense and become a drop of water in cooler air. If you put that same liquid drop of water in the freezer, it would become a solid piece of ice. No matter what phase it was in, it was always water. It always had the same chemical properties. So now you know a little bit about the states of matter. So next time somebody asks you, what's the matter, you can say, solid, liquid, or gas. I'm Steve Phillips, and thanks for listening.